So about that gingery lathe, it's uh, high time we get back to that project. It's been too long, way too long, if I'm honest. And I can't blame any of you for forgetting that it was even happening or what I did last. I can't remember what I did last and I did it and then edited it. So let's take a trip back down memory lane and uh, catch you back up to speed and then tell you why you can forget all about that. I got the gingery tome a while ago. I, I should have had it for the video. What great YouTuber have I not being prepared? Got kind of stuck on the metal casting stage of things. Many burners and furnaces and everything later. The only uh, configuration I'm not using is the castable refractory with charcoal. You know, the one in the book. I didn't get all that far in casting lathe parts. I got a couple here that I did. And eventually Chirpy gave me a whole bunch of castings that he did. He didn't need them anymore because he ended up getting this gigantic, super old lathe that he restored. And so naturally this, this gift would have saved me a whole lot of time, but I don't really do saving time if you've noticed. So uh, I got to work, I, I, bought some of the, I bought some of the steel parts, I made some other bits, like here's another one I cast, and uh, the, the project stalled. It stalled out, just like so many other of my projects, pretty much every single one at some point. You know, my old garage was small, crammed, cluttered with stuff, difficult to move around, quite cold most of the time, uh, and as much, as much as we don't like to admit, having a nice, clean, well-lit, and climate-controlled workspace really makes projects move faster. Like it, it's, it really helps. You know, the thought of just like snaking through all the junk to have this much room to totally freeze while working on the lathe in the dark really kind of got in the way. But fast forward to today, I'm in this new place. I got more space, I got more light, I got more junk, but a lot more space than junk. The ratios shifted and uh, I still want a lathe. So let's get back at it. But I can't just resume where I left off. At least I don't want to, you know? So why, why? Well, I don't really want to go by the book so to speak, with this project. I had a bunch of other crazy ideas, and uh, I really, I really kind of want to revisit those. And you can kind of see one of those ideas with this bed lathe pattern. So this is a pattern that I made before Chirpy gave me a bunch of stuff, and uh, it's, it's not quite by the book. So Chirpy's casting, which I have over here, is a little more by the book. He, he made his quite a bit chunkier, thicker than in the book, but take a look at the difference. Mine's considerably taller. So not only did I use thicker wood than the pattern in the book, but I also increased this. And I did this for a couple reasons. Uh, go, do you remember Maker Size, the now like dead channel? Uh, he's not dead, it's like he doesn't post much at all. Uh, well, he made his bed, his lathe bed, a quarter inch taller than in the book. And I asked him, hey, did you do that because of stiffness? And he said, what? I did it wrong? Like he had no idea, but he secretly made it better. And even his lathe, he, to get it to stop chattering, he had to bolt it to a thing of concrete. So a good solid table is important and all, but I want to be a little more proactive. So if you make the walls twice as thick, you might say resist, you might reduce bending resistance by double. You know, twice as thick, twice the bending resistance as far as wall thickness. If you move this dimension twice as tall, twice as thick, you, you cube bending resistance. You know, like this isn't double, but you get the idea, right? You get more bang for your buck making it thicker this way than you do making the walls thicker. So this pattern does both, and I kind of want to use it. Kind of bummed I, I made it, and uh, I, I didn't get to use it. So I'm going to try to to use this. Also, Gingery says use aluminum. He doesn't specify alloy, just aluminum. Now, aluminum is not a fantastic lathe material, any kind of aluminum. It, but it is easy to get, it's easy to cast. And uh, I can see why he chose that. You know, it's not, but it's not super tough. It's not very, not very heavy. It's not vibration dampening. Like it won't ring like a bell or anything, but it, it could be better. So I think to make it beefier and to resist as much chattering that, that maker size got, I should make it taller, thicker walls and a vibration dampening alloy. One like Zamek. Now Zamek is a family of alloys. It's not one alloy. It's mostly zinc. They throw in like little aluminum, sometimes copper. And in general, it's, it's much lower temperature melting. It's much denser than aluminum. It is tougher and it is vibration dampening. But most importantly, it's very shiny. Now the, the different alloys are like numbered, like two, three, five, eight, whatever. And supposedly the best for gravity sand casting, the kind of casting that I do is number 12, ZA12. Conveniently sold by Roto Metals. They're not a sponsor, but you know, if 50 pounds of this stuff were to show up, I might mention how awesome Roto Metals is in every single video from now on. Just saying, just saying. Okay, maybe not every video, but every video where I use that metal, I'll definitely mention it. So what am I gonna do going forward? Well, here's the plan. 
I'm going to restart. I wasn't that far into it, but just, just bear with me here. Uh, you won't have to watch any of the previous videos to see where I've been so far. You won't have to. You won't even have to watch this one. The very next video that I post on this lathe will be step one of the gingery lathe. I'm going to restart it, and I'm going to cast my own parts in that Zamek alloy. Once this gets going, I'm probably going to unlist all the previous ones. Like, I'll leave them in a playlist of, like, dead videos, but I want there to be a curated list of building this lathe that doesn't involve a four-year time jump and me losing 50 pounds and the whole environment being different and the style of videos being different. I want it to be all the same, nice and neat, so a beginner can show up, start at the beginning, and work through it without confusion. That's the plan. But don't think I'm getting rid of Chirpy's castings here. No, no, these castings work just fine. So what I'm gonna do, if I have a problem casting the zinc one, or I'm lazy that day, or whatever, I'm, not just, I'm just not gonna bother. I'm just gonna use Chirpy's, because they work. And the ones that I do make, I'm probably going to 3D print. I'm gonna, I'm gonna model up the plans. I'm probably gonna change them a bit because I can't leave well enough alone. Uh, and I'll, I'll likely make those files available somewhere. Who knows? Who knows where this is going? And I've never used Zamic before. I'm uh, looking forward to that. It seems like the temperature is so much lower than, than melting aluminum. It's just a whole different world. You know, like people are casting the stuff into silicone. Like they don't even need like fancy anything. And they're melting it with like, Literally anything just melts this stuff. It's it's very weird. I don't know what to do with molten metal that doesn't glow bright, you know what I mean? So here we go, diving into something different. Because if you're not screwing around and trying new things all the time, why bother messing with stuff in your garage, you know? If I wanted to tread the, the well-worn path, I'd just go buy a lathe on Amazon or something, you know? Who's with me? Raise your hand. If you raise your hand, you also like bad ideas. So, no idea when that's going to be posting, um, but I'm going to get started at it basically immediately. I'm trying a bunch of new things this year. I have some other stuff right here off camera that's gonna be very exciting. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm really pumped for everything coming up. Thank you to everybody who stuck around during my really lackluster posting schedule like the last three years. It's been a while. Uh, it means a lot to me that a lot of you, so many of you have stuck around and uh, hopefully we'll forge ahead even more exciting in this new location. So let's get going, right? I don't, I don't know, I need to sign off. To the bad idea cave. I'm, I'm already here. Uh, that was fast. See you next week. No, here we go. Put in a comment what you think the sign off should be. One time I said get lost, but that was a little mean.